of salt, one last stir, and voila! Lunch is served! Aha! Did someone say lunch? Oh! oh. Who put that there? Oh. Sorry, I was a, you know, announcing lunch old school style. What's wrong with texting? Give me a break, at least I made lunch. When was the last time you did that? Hey, I'll do stuff. Like what? Like coming up with uh, brand new brilliant business ideas. Let me just stop you right there. I don't think there's any money in selling old bells, Rich. Old bells, no, but antique bells, maybe. Well, how do you know it's antique? Well, I don't, but there's, there's got to be antique stuff in the attic. What's for lunch? Ah! Ah, meant that. What you? Oh, wait, Rich! Hello. Help! Please! I can't quite reach lunch. What about this? What is it? It's a, 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 a thingamajig, an old flycatcher. No, it's not. It's a bed warmer, stupid. Have you found... Ah! Sorry. Have you found anything of value yet? No, not really. Well, what's that? This. Alas! That's great Uncle Chester and great Aunt Vivian. So, hold on. You, uh, you know these dead dudes? Everyone knew them. They were the perfect couple. Their love was known throughout the land, for they were married for a whole 20 years. <laughs> Look, 20 years was a long time back then. Amazing. Oh, dear. Bogmore Castle is going to host a wedding. Hundreds of weddings, in fact. Uh, how many people have you asked to marry you? <laughs> Casanova, anyway. <laughs> One. Ah, the old ones are the best. If you've got to see this. What's that? What's what? Whatever you're hiding behind your back. I'm not hiding anything behind my back. Usually I would fall for that. If it wasn't for the fact that, you know, you're a ghost. Uh, my old practical jokes for ghost book. Oh, cool. <laughs> What's all this about? Then ask us. So Master Richard has summoned us all. Intriguing. He must have something of great importance to announce. Well, as long as he stops going on about Bogmore being available for weddings. It's official. Bogmore is available for weddings. It's like he was waiting for me to say that. How exactly does one make that news official? You just put him on the internet, guy. That's how you make everything official. You put Bogmore online as a wedding venue? Yep. What, for, like, actual people to actually hire out? Design the website myself. Bogmore. A fairy tale castle for fairy tale weddings. See, I even come up with that line myself. <sighs> Unbelievable. I know. I'm a genius. No, not you, Alan Sugar. The idea that we could host someone's wedding, it's ridiculous. We need it's a few flowers, a few bows. Two people say I do. There's more to it than that. That's why we're going to stage our own wedding tomorrow here at Bogmore. Look, it's simple. A few photos, a video put up online, show people that Bogmore could be great for their wedding. Well, pretend wedding. Who, might I ask, is uniting in fake matrimony? I'll have to let you know tomorrow, cos there's, there's a few things still not quite in place, but you've all got a role to play. I hope I'm not the bride. Diego, Diego, Diego! Wake up, wake up! Guess what the humans are planning? I'll tell you what they're planning. They're planning something really exciting. It's called... a wedding. A wedding? What is it? I don't know. I think it's something to do with water. I heard you got cake, though. Mmm, <laughs> cake. We should go. Well, we're not invited. Box you in mice. And when there's cake... We're always invited. Come on. That was Bruno Mars, Marry You. Just a little snippet of what's here to come at Bogmore Castle. But right now, I'm going to leave you with this. Bookie, somebody actually wants to book the castle for their wedding. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Mm. <laughs> you look like you got a wasp trapped in your trousers. Oh, I love you now, I'm actually an excellent dancer. Yeah, right. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about this whole wedding madness. It's not madness, Kate. It's going to put Bob more on the map and make us rich in the process. OK, but what's the big rush? I mean, weddings take months of planning. All I'm saying is, can't we just slow it down a bit, you know, do things properly? But I'll do things any other way. Look, I'm just getting a head start on the PR. The golden rule of business is, is great advertising. I thought you said it was stick to what you know. Yeah, that's another golden rule. OK, look, if I help you with a fake wedding, will you promise me one thing? What's that? Don't take any bookings until we're ready. Yeah, but if we... No, I mean properly ready, Rich. Otherwise, I'm not helping with the photo shoot or the video. Fine. Yeah. Oh. Thanks, Rich. For what? For compromising. 
I like it when we get along. Me too. She didn't say anything about them viewing it though, did she? Rich, do you think they're a gecko ghost and bearded dragon ghosts? Rich, you there? Yeah, totally. Well, what's up? You've been quiet all evening. I'm just planning for tomorrow. I just want everything to run smoothly. It will. And even if it doesn't, you can always have another go. Well, that's the thing. I've invited a couple to come view the castle tomorrow while the wedding's in full flow. Why on earth did you do that? Because I might want to book us for their wedding. You're not ready for bookings. That's exactly what Kate said. Look, technically, it's not a booking, it's just a chance for them to come view the place. And Kate knows about this? No, and don't tell her, cos I need her help, otherwise it's not going to work. Rich, I'm not sure about this. Chill out, little man. Have I ever messed things up before? Well... A actually, don't answer that. Look, everything's going to be fine, trust me. And what about Kate? And what about Kate? Once the wedding's in full flow, she ain't going to care who I've invited. Look, girls love weddings. Fact. Just makes them a bit crazy, that's all. Couldn't pay me to get married. It's too weird. Unless I got married to Trafford. I'd definitely get married to Trafford. That wouldn't be so weird. Yes, it would. I bet I'm going to be best man. No way, kid. I'm best man. It's a cert. What on earth is best man? All right, all right. Now, firstly, thank you for turning up. I know the photo shoot is a big ask, but hey, if we work as a team... Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Just get to the point. What are our parts? Yeah, what the ghost said. Right. The line-up for the Bogmore photo shoot is... Drum roll. <laughs> Dylan, I want you to be page boy. What? <laughs> In your face! Rich, that's a job for five-year-olds. <laughs> Esme, I want you to be bridesmaid. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I don't know. Gabe? Master Richard, now I want you to be the best man. What? No. I will strive to be the bestest of the best of men. Master Richard. Excellent. Jimmy? What? I want you to be the creative director. Keep talking. Basically, you're in charge of everything stylish. I'm talking decorations, the cake, the photographs, and especially the video. I do have a keen eye for detail. Good. Use it. Now, Kate. <laughs> oh, no. Lovely, lovely Kate. <sighs> Please don't say it. Our beautiful, blushing bride. <laughs> Nope, not happening. Not a chance. Not in a million years. Not even if I was marrying Prince William. Huh? The real Prince William. So, who's Kate marrying? Yeah. Who's going to be the groom? Me, obviously. Oh, oh, you've got to be kidding me. I'll have you know. I look great in a suit. Nope, not a chance. Not happening. Listen, I don't do weddings, and I definitely don't do wedding dresses. All right. Look, Kate, wait. Look, what about compromising? Like, the other day, you asked me to do you a favour, yeah? And today, I'm asking you to do the same. Hey. We can't do it without you. Hey? Fine. Yes! <laughs> Today's the day that we get hitched. Come on, my lovely bride. Yeah? Fine, that can work. I'm going to kill Rich. I look ridiculous. Yep. Why don't you have to wear anything stupid? These are being a ghost, I suppose. One outfit. For all occasions. If you'd give away one, I mean absolutely had to give away, which one would you give away? Drum or bass? You can't say that. Drum and bass are a pair. They come as a package. They'd be totally lost without each other. I was going to ask if I could keep one. What? The one you didn't want, obviously. I want both of them. I mean, they need each other. You can't stand in the way of gecko love, Esme. There you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. Did you know, as part of my duties as Master Rich's best man, I am to give a speech? Of course, everyone knows that. I cannot give a speech in front of people. Nerves will get the better of me. I'm going to be a laughing stock. Don't worry, we'll help you. We will? Yeah, just you go get started and we'll be there to help. Thank you, sister. No sweat, brother. How are we going to help? We're not. We're just going to have some fun with him. <laughs> Jimmy, is that you? Jimmy is not here. Jimmy the genius is, however, and he is in the creative zone. Come again. As creative director, I'll be making the masterpiece for the wedding cake. Just try and keep it simple, yeah? Jimmy the genius does not do simple. Where on earth did Rich get a wedding dress at such short notice? Me, I found it packed up in the attic. Wow, classy. 
Um, excuse me, but as bridesmaid, aren't you supposed to be helping me with stuff like this? It's easier if you put it over your head. And you couldn't have told me that earlier. Who in the right mind would volunteer to wear one of these? Lots of girls. Well, lots of girls are crazy. I am never, <laughs> ever wearing one of these again. <laughs> well, that's attractive. I'm supposed to be friendly, but funny. And I must remember to thank everyone. I am going to let Master Richard down, aren't I? Gabe, you'll be fine, as long as you remember the key best man traditions. Which are? Well, the first one is to always remember to greet the bride by insulting her. Insulting her? It's a very old, but very important tradition. I can't insult the bride. You have to, if you want to be a good best man. I do not recall seeing it in my book on marriage traditions. It's because it's common sense. Everyone knows it's the best man's duty to insult the bride on their wedding day. How's the best man's speech? I haven't even started it yet. But Dylan has just informed me about insulting the bride. Insulting the bride? I mean, yeah, insulting the bride. Did you not know about that? And you did? Of course I did. It's nearly as important as the best man's salute. The best man's salute? What on earth is that? You don't need to panic, Gabe. You're lucky. We're here to help. Beautiful. Yeah, What the? I know. It looks well delicious, right? It's not very fairy tale, is it, Jimmy? Hey, you try working magic with the budget you gave me. I didn't give you a budget. Exactly. All right, well, we'll just have to deal with it. Well, listen, where is everybody? We're running off our light. Do not fear. The best man is here. Right, go get everybody ready, OK? Hey, what are you playing at? Just giving you the traditional best man salute. Well, when you finish, can you get everybody to stand by? Now, where's Kate? Outside. What's she doing out there? It's bad luck for the bride and groom to see each other before the ceremony. We're not actually getting married. Oh, come on, we ain't got all day. Hey, has anyone seen Trafford? I had him a minute ago. Dylan, not now. Look, we need to get the photos down. <sighs> Kate? Yeah? Come on. What, no music? What do you need music for? We're taking photos. Well, I'm not coming into silence. I already feel stupid. Fine. You want music? You get music. Ready? Yeah, baby, you're a princess. Think regal. Think royal. Think upright. Katie, you all right? Do I look all right? I think you look like a giant toilet roll, Miss Kit. <laughs> what? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> Jimmy, get out of my face on that camera or you'll be wearing this wedding dress in a minute. Oh, come on, Esme. I've got to find Trafford. Oh, come on, let's just get the photos done. Preferably ones that don't involve walking. <laughs> Sure you're all right? Yep, I'm fine. Can we just get this over and done with? No, no, no. It just doesn't look like you're in love. Uh, because we aren't. Can't you just make it look like we are? Believe me, there's stuff that even Jimmy the genius can't do. We'll try. OK, right, Rich, imagine you've just won Young Businessman of the Year. How do you feel? <laughs> Amazing. Kate. Imagine you and Prince William have just won Olympic gold in show jumping. I don't think we could, you know. <laughs> Got it. And it actually looks like you like each other. Any chance of a kiss? No way. Come on, we're on a roll. You know, we were looking for the website, you know, romantic and all. All right, but, um, make it quick. What? I'm not that repulsive, you know. Not you, Trafford. Trafford? What? Dylan! I think we should uh, move on to the um, to the speeches ASAP. Where is Gabe? Uh, um, I need some help. Lily, Rich, Jimmy. And that reminds me of an old saying someone once told me. Marriage between humans is like marriage between pigs. You grow old and fat together, and then after a while, you realise how bad the other one smells. Nice touch. Thanks. I was proud of that one. So please, 
Stand and raise a glass. To the bride and groom, may you both continue to drive each other up the wall until you grow old and die. To the bride and groom. Are you sure that's the right tone for my speech? Trust me, it's going to bring the house down. Look, it's, it's not that I didn't want to kiss you, but it's not that I did. Oh, you're making it worse. Look, where is everybody? Because we're behind schedule. Calm down. If we don't get all the photos today, we can just get them another time. No, no, it needs to be done today. Why? What's gotten into you? I've never seen you so stressed. Nothing. I, I just want bug more weddings to work, that's all. Well, maybe we're not ready. Hey, relax. It's not like we're taking any bookings. No. No bookings. Danny, I've butterflies in my stomach over the best man's speech. Oh, Gabe. Pray, tell me. What's your secret to overcoming nerves? Well, they say the best way is to picture the audience in their underwear. Their undergarments? Yeah, but every time I try that one, I get the giggles and forget my lines. Oh, no. What if I forget my lines? I'm already having difficulty remembering what Esme and Dylan have told me. Oh, Danny. I wish you were here to keep me calm. Look, Gabe, if all else fails, just speak from the heart. Well, that way you can never go wrong. Thank you, Danny. I've got to go. Break a leg. And action! What action? It means we're rolling. We're filming. <clears throat> I had prepared a speech for today. But I've decided to speak from the heart instead. They say marriage is a celebration of love. Now, I've never been married. But I am in love with the most amazing lady I've ever met in my 247 years. And you might just think I'm a gushing ninny noggins. Ninny noggins. Because that's what love does to a gentleman. It makes him want to cry. And he sees a little puppy playing. Shine from the mountain tops. It makes me want to skip through a golden meadow. <clears throat> so, there it is. I confess my love here today. And I hope that one day I'll be lucky enough to prove my love through the beautiful institution of marriage. So please, stand and raise a glass to the bride and groom. To the bride and groom. Gabe, that was the best, best man speech ever. You really think so? Yeah, man. <laughs> Give it up for Gabe. <laughs> but I ignored everything you told me. Your speech was better. Wow. That was lovely. <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> um, I mean, it'll, you know, look great on the website, won't it? Cut the cake! Cut the cake! Please. Wait, why is the cake shaped like a giant sandwich? Because the two pieces of bread represent the bride and the groom, and the filling is the love that holds them together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a wrap. Nice one, Jimmy. Hit some music. Sad my dear. I'm not so sure about this. I am. They actually look good together. Yeah, what else? Selfie! Wow, you can actually dance. Told you I could. Hello. Flushy teenage stuff happening on the dance floor right now. Do something. Like what? Just follow me.
is my cue for the best man shuffle. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. If they like it, and if we keep call that professional, we might just get away with it. Professional? I'll give you professional. Okay, what are you doing? This is not a way to act on your wedding day. It's not my wedding day. Yeah, right. The only thing Richie's sorry about is missing out on that booking. I'm sure that's not true. Just give him a second chance. He'll make... What? Well, no way. Why would I? Because he's your friend and that's what friends do. Or is he your husband now? Uh, we are definitely not married. <laughs> well, you're certainly arguing like an old married couple. Oh. Okay, I'm really sorry. I've got to go and get into costume. I'll catch you later, okay? <laughs> wow. What a wetty. But it's still pretty fun, weren't it? Well, I'm exhausted. Human parties are not for me. Oh, you, you can't go to bed, you old grump. We've got to keep the party going. Empire, Empire, Empire. When? Will this nightmare end? I've got Jimmy sorting out the kitchen. Kate, I'm, I'm sorry I lied to you. And I'm sorry for putting everybody on the spot like that. But I meant what I said yesterday. I do like it when we get along. So no more weddings at Bogmore, real or fake? No. No more weddings at Bogmore. I'm sorry. You know, I never dislike weddings. To do something to people's brains makes them act crazy. Fact. <laughs> you know, you surprised me, Kate. I thought girls love weddings. Ah, well, that's your problem, Rich. I'm not like our girls. I'm starting to see that. Do you think you'll ever get married? Me? No, never. Well, maybe never. You know you could have taken that dress off ages ago, right? I know. I will. In a little bit. <laughs> 